Hey guys, welcome to video 9 in the Hacked Existence How to Build a Django Website series. Um, in this video, we're going to look at creating a user profile, so using the get profile method um, against the user that's logged in. And we're also going to look at the login required decorator, um, which will require users to be logged in before they're able to see whatever comes out of a specific view. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our settings. Um, and from a previous video, we have the auth profile module set up. So we need to just set up a few other things for authenticated users. Um, here we're going to say um, URL for login required decorator to use. And so this is going to be login URL equals, and our login is at slash login. So anytime you put the login required decorator on a view, it's going to send it to this page to try and log in. Um, then we need to redirect authenticated users somewhere once they log in. So we're going to say login redirect URL. We're going to send them to slash profile. All right, so now that we have um, some login information in our settings, um, okay, so we'll go into our drinker app and in the views here. So we have registration, login, logout. Um, so up here above login, I'm going to do a profile. But first, we need to import the login required decorator. So let me put it here. It's going to be from django.contrib.auth.decorators um, import login required. So now down here, when we create a view on the on the line above it, we can put at login required, and now define our view. Um, so we're going to call this profile. So this decorator um, says that if the request isn't logged in, to send it to the login page that we defined in settings, have them log in, and then bring them back here. <clears throat> All right, so I like to double check. Um, you don't really need to do this, but um, I feel like it's a safety net. So if not, request.user.is authenticated so if they're not logged in we're going to return an HTTP response redirect to slash login so it's just a double check it's totally not necessary okay so now we're going to say drinker equals request dot user dot get profile and because we have drinker as our auth profile module and settings user.getProfile will return a drinker object that we're going to call drinker. So now we'll add that to a context drinker drinker and we'll return a render to response. We'll call this profile.html. Send it to context and the context instance. Let's see. All right, so now we need to go create the profile.html in our templates. All right, so this is going to extend base.html. And here we're going to have block content. We're going to end the block. And inside, um, we're going to say p um, name drinker.name slash p p birthday drinker dot birthday alright so now I'm gonna okay so now we need to go back into our URLs and make a URL hook for this so at the end here I'm gonna say comma there 
profile. It's going to go to drinker.views.profile. So we'll restart the web server. Now let's log in and check out our profile. So if I'm not logged in right now, um, and I go to slash profile, views.py line 34, let's check it out. Four here. Oh, context needs to equal something. All right, so let's try that again. Okay, so you can see that um, when we're logged out, if we come from anywhere, if we view the beers list, now we try to sneak into slash profile. That login required grabs it, throws it out to the login page, and says next equals profile. So now if I log in here, you can see it took me to slash profile, and it's got my name and my birthday um, from my member object. So you can see right here our drinker model has a birthday and a name um, that are showing up in our profile template. So that's pretty much how to use the login required decorator that we saw right here and how to use get profile from the request to get the member object for the uh, logged in user. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.